edition of Ball State's Protector of the Court, we break down and analyze Paige Peterson's 1v2 against Australia for the women's semifinals. So I definitely want to get into um, just that crazy clutch win that you had um, against Team Australia. And um, pretty much we'll set, we'll set the stage, uh, as most people that saw it probably remember, but you were basically two, two against one. Um, last one in, it was 7-7. Like you, you pretty much had to win this, right? This, this was do or die for you? Yeah, this was this was the the game that whoever won this went to gold, whoever lost went to bronze. Yeah, no pressure. So you got everybody staring at you. People are chanting Paige. Um, I think you just come from like a timeout, right? Yeah, yeah. So we called time and reset the balls just before this. Man. So we'll start with just, okay, right now um, you're standing there. I think you've got, uh, you're holding on to two balls, the third balls at your feet. What, what, yeah. are you, what are you thinking? Like, what is that setup like for you? Are you just, what's going on through your mind right here, if you can recall? Well, I remember telling Xander, who's over on the other side, so I'm gonna roll you a ball right off the bat, um, just so that I can get it back in immediately. And my whole idea was, okay, it's two versus one. I have to get it down to at least one-on-one. One-on-one -on -one. One -on -one is manageable, um, so get one out. So I, I threw one at Alex uh, on the left. And Side then I threw arm, right? Or... Underarm, yeah. yeah uh, underarm, yeah. So was that, how, were you throwing like that the whole time or was that new? The whole, I've been throwing like that for a while, especially with the, the foam balls I can throw under and over, but okay. I decided that under would be a good way to start because the windup is shorter. And if I can get someone to kind of surprise block, I can get an out that way. So that was why I did that. And then the first one was a good throw. She just moved out of the way. Second one went high. So Gigi didn't have to do anything. Right. And uh, the, right then Xander threw that ball in, which was beautiful timing. And I just went straight up. And I threw it Gigi because she had two balls and she's also a lefty, which for me, catching, seeing the ball out of a lefty hand is very different than a righty. So I wanted to get her out and she had two balls. So more likely that she was going to block than Alex. As soon as I got that one out, I knew that I could kind of take one person, whether it was by catching or by throwing, I knew I had a much better chance than two against one. So that was the whole reason I just, I was just firing right off the bat. I wanted to get an out. That was this week's edition of Ball State's Protector of the Court. If you have a play that you would like broken down, hit us up at admin at ballstategear.com or via any of our related social media channels. Uh, be sure to tag us and utilize the hashtag protector of the court, and we'll see you in the next one.